necessarily part of the fetish community. So, like, even though there's L1. Why did we L1? Um, like, even though there's overlap, but maybe those parts don't overlap. But there's a lot of nuance I feel like I don't necessarily get. Uh, there's a lot of language barrier stuff too, so... I did see one, like, really creepy thing though. And I, I kind of want to mention this to Kazi, but I also kind of don't want to mention this to Kazi because it's kind of like a freak out type of thing. I saw a dude... Um, what am I supposed to be doing here? What is it that they want? Uh, right, so I see how this is working. L1 is doing a gravity effect. Um, I mean, there, I must just need to be closer to this wall. Um, I saw a guy at this event last night, and he had a fresh Rewa brand. Not a tattoo. Like an actual full-on straight-up brand on the back of his neck. And that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Like, he didn't seem to be part of a group or anything. He was just kind of wandering around the event, as people do. Um, which doesn't mean anything one way or the other. But, like, that's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of kind of implications with uh, the choice of the um, the Imperial year name or the Imperial uh, not year but the, the Imperial what are they called? Period? Era? The Era name. Right, Showa Era. Right, Heisei Era. So Kazi would...